So better to be ready than to, uh, you know, not be. That's just, just absolutely lovely, really, isn't it? Oops, just... Wait, train. Where's train? Damn it, I missed the train. I'm driving so horribly. Okay, let's uh, focus on not dying and, you know, not crashing right now. It's like the f I think that's the first motorway I've seen where he's like fully in great, like fully just like kind of like a bigger uh, tour of the city, essentially. Really nice. Oh, crap. Look away for a second. So, we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what it is. I see how this works. My bad there, may I uh, pulled out a little promptly there. Thank God this is a video game because this was real life. Someone would have cussed me the hell out. That guy probably did, actually. Like, we don't know. We're not in his car, but he probably definitely did cuss us out. And if he didn't cuss us out, why did you not cuss me out? Like, am I not good enough to be cussed out? Look at the fuck. And the good old Renault dealerships. There are so many in France. I mean, they are French. It is a French brand, but still. Actually, is Renault still French? I feel like it was originally French, but I don't know if it's still owned by the French, like a French man or a French group uh, company. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm interested. Oh, look at those Model Ts. Oh, they're beautiful. I do love Renault Ts. They are... I'll be honest, they are so beautiful. They are such a good-looking truck. I don't know. I can't remember when they were added to the game, but hot damn, were they a great addition. Okay, so we're, uh, we're going straight out of Leon again. Just like the business, it's like I guess it's like the outskirts of Lyon, you know, like the uh, big uh, industrial sector, the big like, essentially everything that's not like the town center. Okay, so we've got five hours thirty-eight to our next thing, and we've got. 3 hours 16 to our rest point. So we need to build a fight. Sorry, not, not build. We need to find a rest point. That's too soon. Okay. 3 hour 13. So we're going to be resting at the, pol uh, the toll booth. I, swear, I feel like I'm starting to notice more and more roads have a lot. There's a lot less places to sleep in this game than I remember there being. And I, I, I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling that. But that is one of my that is now my sudden opinion. Alright, let's slingshot this truck out of there as fast as we can. That way we don't hold anyone up. We don't uh, you know disrupt the flow of traffic. Perfect. See look at that. Absolutely amazing. I'm I'm I mean ten out of ten for execution there, Joe. There we go. We're going to go through here, and then it's, I think it's the uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the next um, the next toll booth. So we're we're pretty we're pretty far away from the toll booth where we're going to be resting, but you know it's uh we're getting paid like twenty five grams. This is a big job. Oh, paying thirty grand. Look at that. Also, I've just realized we're at 11% damage, so if I can get away of not repairing this truck, I totally will. I don't know what the repair situation will be like if I um, give this truck to someone. Will like, his first job be like negative seven grand because I didn't uh, fix his truck? I mean, if it is, then that's all. That's my fault, and I deserve that for trying to skirt the uh, repairing of the truck. Uh, or at least trying to avert the having to pay to repair the truck that I was uh, no longer using. So if that happens, I deserved it. Gonna hit 14,000 miles soon as well. 
beautiful. Follow me happy. Oh, it's a big stretch. So yeah, that's an absolute win. Back to the beautiful French countryside. So, what can we talk about today? So obviously yesterday we had the passing of uh, Lance Reddick, who is, which is an absolute loss for everyone. Like, he was amazing in uh, the John Wick's films I've heard. I've never seen the John Wick's films, but I know that, I know that he was a very big uh, pivotal character in them. Um, obviously I know that, um, I can't remember if he played like a main character. I don't know if he played a main character. I was gonna say, I can't remember. I don't know. I, I never saw the films. Not my type, but I, he, I mean, you see, when I used to play Destiny years ago, when it first came out, is obviously his voice. And I recognize him in um, two. Obviously he was, he was big. I think it was mostly in two. Was he in one? I don't remember. All I do know is, all I know is that his voice is extremely um, nostalgic for me. I recognize his voice very well. And obviously he was big in the, um, he was in the new uh, Vox Machina season two as Fordak, which is a uh, you know massive loss to say that was so that came out so recently. An absolute shame, but uh, it always is when you lose uh, when obviously we lose uh, like a great actor or when we lose anyone really, notable or not. It's always a, it's always it's always crap. But yeah, so that's uh, it's a big shame on that one. But uh, apart from that, it's obviously everything uh, we've got. We've got some. Oh, I never knew. I actually don't know what games are coming out soon. Um, um, I mean, the new Stellaris DLC dropped. The um, I don't know what it's called, but I know the new Stellaris DLC with free origins cloaking. You can now cloak in it now, which is, I guess, pretty cool. I mean. My opinion on the Solaris, I feel like I've been pretty well documented. I uh, don't really—I'm not really a fan of the game anymore. I used to, when Solaris came out, I was the—I was so happy. I was like, "Oh my god, cool space game!" You know, it's a space game from Paradox. It's really cool. Um, I played it with Turio, Turio, uh, Bujo, uh, Jeronka, and Tana. And like we're, after we were doing our EU, after we did our like EU, well, well, I think it was while we were doing our EU four series together, we played it when it came out. And, you know, Toriyo got invited to the Paradox um, uh, game to go play it uh, against other play uh, like a bunch of other people. It was really cool. And the game was really fun. Then they uh, like they kept bringing out, they brought out a few expansions. Then they redid it and it got even better. And they redid the planets. The planets were a lot more fun. You know, you could build up planets like stupid like hundred pops instead of like always the maximum of twenty five. And it got really fun. And then it was just, it just, like, as they kept trying to make it, like, kept bringing stuff out, I noticed something. It just kept feeling the same. And when they brought Origins out, Origins diversified the start, but the mid to late game is always the same. Be a, being a Federation builder, being a, you know, a slaver nation or being being anything didn't really feel like it was different in terms of how, how you kind of conducted yourself yes if you went to war you either killed everyone or you enslaved like you enslave them or you you know there, there are ways different ways you wage war but the game the progress always felt the same it never felt like you had like there wasn't it never felt like you were completely unique but i still uh hope solaris does well and hopes it you know keeps going but I don't know. I just I feel like if I gave it a go again, I might enjoy it. But I just I feel like it was it, it, to me it was definitely lacking. You know, last time I played it, and I feel like if you don't have, especially like there's only four ship types when it comes to like like basic combat, unless you get the Titan and then the flagships and or whatever they're called these days. Those that add to it, but like they're just four basic ships are pretty boring. And the NCIS mod, um, I think it's NCIS. I can't remember what it's called. The uh, the big ship mod that adds like battle cruisers, carriers. Um, cruisers, like, you know, like, uh, like proper cruisers, uh, like, you know, the one that adds, like, all the extra types of stuff, that, to me, is necessary. I can't play the game without it, because it just bores me. But that mod also has, does one thing, like, to me wrong, because the AI are not 
really the best at using it. So they'll, they'll try, but by the time you, you they, like, if you don't, if, like, early on, they'll be really powerful, but in, late in the game, they are so weak in that mod. Like, you'll have, like, a 150k fleet, and they'll have, like, a 10k, like, or maybe, maybe, maybe if they're lucky, they'll have a 50k fleet. 50k is not nothing, it's not a sneezer, obviously, but, like, when you have, like, a 350k fleet, and you'll probably have, like, four or five others, like, at that strength, it just, it just makes the game stupidly easy. It's like, but then like, so it takes away the challenge playing using that mod, but at the same time using that mod's the only way to make it, you, you see my problem, like, there, there's too many, like, problems with it, but I feel like Solaris, it could easily be better, and I'm hoping that they're going to continue to work on it, and um, hopefully one day I'll start the game up and be like, yeah, this, this feels good, but to me at the moment, just... I don't feel like there's any need for me to play anything by the way. Like, I, I always... I could play imperialistic. I could play democratic. I just don't feel like there's a big difference or a big enough difference in the two for me to feel like continuing to play it regularly. Like, it doesn't have the distinct differences that EU4 nations can have in terms of, like, their ideas. And even if you pick the same ideas for different nations and stuff like that. Uh... You ate the TK Pizza Heinz. Uh, how's it going? I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm. I'm alive, as they say. Uh, you know, not the best, not the worst. Uh, what are the chances of you getting a man trucks next? Pretty low. Pretty much in the bin. I'm not getting a man truck. Not my type of thing. I, I'll be honest. They're pretty. De they're decent. Like they're okay, but I'm just not a. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a Scania. I'm getting my uh, my go-to truck. And for, I, it's been decided. I I was deciding between a Renault. Uh, a Mercedes and a Scania, and last session we decided upon a Scania, and we're going to just keep getting, we're going to go for the Scania, and we're going to have an absolute fun time. I mean, one day maybe I'll try a man, but like, I've just, I've never enjoyed them. Scania's are real, I love, I love Scania's, they're great, great trucks, but the MAN trucks, or the man trucks as I call them, uh, the MAN just... I don't know, I, can't, I just, I can't, uh, I don't vibe with them. I don't vibe very well with them at all. I feel like they're just, uh, they're just not as cool as uh, my truck, my truck. Like, I love this truck, it's just, a, you know, we don't have the custom, uh, like, the ability to get, head, like, deal with heavy loads and stuff, so it's uh, a little bit lackluster for long, you know, for uh, the, you know, future uh, of our company and stuff. Why is everyone going through the... Yeah, probably not. You know what? I'm gonna go this side. I'm gonna do something really cheeky. Alright, time to do something really stupid. As they say, just try and stop me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, mate. We got this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <sighs> just gonna reverse into my spot, you know? No, it is what it is, mate. I've been driving for like a full day and I'm a bit tired, you know? That's gonna hit. Okay. Let's, uh... <sighs> Can I rest, please? Can you can you let me rest, game? No. Okay, I guess we're messing about a little bit more to get into the rest space. Hey, okay, game. I know this is a rest space, so you're gonna let me rest, right? There we go. Thank you. We hit 14,000 miles on our DAF as well, which is uh, just makes it even more depressing that we're going to be set. Uh, we're not going to sell it. But sorry, we're going to be giving it to someone else. Our drivers are doing an absolute good job as well. I have to quickly throw my nose as well.
Sorry about that. Let's uh, have a look at our drivers quickly. Uh, driver manager. You're still working on your ADR. You're still working on ADR. You're still... Okay, everyone's still working on what they need to work on. Great. Uh, they are just making us some beautiful profit. All right. To Strasbourg. Now that I've uh, been able to rest uh, efficiently. Sufficiently. Uh, not too... I'm not too far from Strasbourg, which means this truck is uh, about to be uh, sent to Liege and uh, be given to our newest driver once we, uh, you know, board our Scania. And hopefully we'll buy a second, uh, maybe buy a second Scania and we'll start diversifying our fleet and then eventually switching them all over to, uh, to Scania's. It's gonna feel weird when we sell all of our old trucks and get rid of, like, get rid of all of these trucks and get, like, Scania's for everything. I would get rid of this truck straight away and you know, use it to buy a Scania, but I don't know. It just, uh, just doesn't feel right, you know. It doesn't feel. Uh, it doesn't. Just doesn't feel like. I, I feel like. I feel like this truck needs to stay in the family for a little bit longer. I mean, just a little bit, mind you. Not too long, but you know, for a little bit. So we're gonna we're not gonna be able to buy a scanner straight we're gonna actually have to rest again which is not ideal but uh, unfortunately we'll have to hey what day of the week is it it's Thursday so yeah if we uh, if we rest it'll be Friday uh, we won't rest now because I mean we could we actually quite literally could rest uh, all right we're in Germany which means 53 mile an hour limit okay but yeah we'll um what's the word what's it called uh, we'll um yeah, we'll rest up, buy our Scania, and then we'll, uh, yeah. I, I can make an exception to the rules for the air, for, you know, this, in this situation where we know we're just waiting for the uh, place to open. Because, I mean, by the time we get there, it'll be like 2, 3 in the morning. Uh, um, or 2 in the morning at this rate, or 1, well, probably 1, maybe. Either way, by the time we get to the dealership, it'll be about 2-ish, half 2-ish in the morning. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit early to be buying a truck. I don't think they do, uh, I don't know if they do, I mean, hey, you never know, they could do 24-hour dealerships, you know, you know, just ring a bell, someone will, uh, get up and pop over and, you know, sell you some trucks, but... Then again, obviously, if you're gonna make some customizations, you're gonna need, you need the mechanic crew, and, you know... Alright, fair enough, we'll just wait till, like, what's, we'll, we'll have to wait, right? You know, it makes sense. But, uh... Yeah, returning to the Stellaris talk for a little, a few more minutes. I do hope that they are able to uh, just fix that up and uh, I say fix it up. I hope they're able to diversify the gameplay enough that it feels like you're not playing the same game repeatedly. So it's just doing the same thing repeatedly like, you know, U4 and that. They just like maybe adding the thing is you can't add mission trees to it. I think this is the real problem where you can make your own custom stuff. Mission trees, you'd be like you could make like a generic mission tree, but then everyone has the same generic mission tree. But then if you build, like, a, a mission tree off of, um, like, say, if you make a mission tree off of, depending on your ideologies, then the mission tree is, for every ideology, is the same, and I, don't, I really don't know how, like, I think mission trees are really what has, like, set apart, like, EU4 and made EU4 um, a lot more fun to replay in that, because everybody is, like, it's, it's really pain, it's, like, really hard to get, like, well, it's not really hard, but unless you min-max, like, massively, like, we just play casually, you don't go all the way through, like, every branch of the uh, tree, uh, and you can keep doing different ones, whereas, obviously, I feel like, I feel like there's got to be some way for Solaris to do, like, the same type of thing, like, maybe, like, make a, um, I don't know, it's, I guess it's not really, you can't really, because, you know, you're conquering planets, and there's no way, especially if you get every galaxy's random, you don't really know what, you know, there's no, like, Claim or anything. I, think, I feel like there could be a way to implement it. I just don't know it. Off my, my, I don't know it myself. Also, we're not actually in Germany yet, apparently. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to Germany. Strasbourg's in France. What am I on about? Yeah. Going to Germany. Strasbourg's in Alsace Lorraine, isn't it? Yep. Whoops. No wonder I thought it was Germany. The Germans think it's Germany, too. Oh, the amount of wars fought over this place. Wait, there's a there was a rest point right here. Huh. Unless you zoom in massively, you don't notice it. 
Well, that's my bad. Oh, well, what are you going to do? If I do next to me, please either go past me or don't. Or, like, you know, go slower. Better not break check me like the like other did the other dickhead did on this trip, who I uh, immediately rammed my car up his ass by accident. Emphasis on the accident. It was actually not intentional. If it was intentional, I'd have done so much more damage to my truck than if I uh, and the, uh, I, I think like the one percent we took from it. Jesus Christ, the car. that car can go 80 miles an hour. I don't know why he's not just scooting over. Apparently, he doesn't want to be uh, at risk, so I'll do a little... Uh, I was going to see if he would uh, pull over, seeing me pull over, but nope. So, uh, sucks to be him. Hey, look, another daff. Yep. Let's, uh, let's not slam into the, uh, the divider. Right, as we're uh, trying to get, you know, hand this truck over to someone else. We don't really want to destroy our own, destroy the truck now, do we? All right, we're going to be need to be in the outside lane in a second. slow down and get behind this uh, coach. The coach is going pretty slow, but I'd rather not risk loot missing my turn. As they say, you have to be smart about this. Damn it, I can't see the train. It sucks. I can hear the train, but I can't see it. That's bullshit. And here we are in Strasbourg. Or oh, Strasbourg, I believe, actually. It's not Strasbourg. It's Strasbourg, I believe. Yeah. Strasbourg, not Strasbourg. My apologies. Go discover... We'll go quickly discover ourselves a question mark before we pick up our... Uh, be, uh, Drop off our goods. We're gonna have to. I'm just gonna realize we're gonna have to rearrange our. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, uh, like you know, you know, deal with our seats and that after this. First time in a while, we've uh, we're gonna be have to completely set up our uh, interior again. Okay, traffic lights. Are we uh, we're not on we're not on a uh, good basis today. I take it. Fair enough. Tra fair enough. Uh, you know. Wouldn't expect you to like me after all. You know, that would be uh, too much to ask. Go over to the uh, outside lane. That's where we're uh, doing a turn. There's the beautiful Scania dealership. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously, the most important thing is we get a Scania with a... D uh, with a uh, sat nav which i know the um the v8 interior the v8 uh, interior has which is what we're going for oh i'm gonna i'm still gonna give everything a good look you know just to make sure that's what i want but i'm uh, pretty sure that's the interior we're gonna go for pull it out a little wide I give myself a little bit of a yawn there. This is going to look like a little bit of a bitch to park in here. Oh. Uh, that's, um... Yeah, that's, uh...
Right. Uh, thank you for the posture tech, TK. My posture was actually pretty crap right there, so thank you very much. Okay, that's... No, I'm not... I'm not letting my last delivery in a daft be that bad. Like, that's just, like, cockeyed. Let's, uh, we're gonna fix this, right? We need to get a little bit closer to the wall. Come on, a little bit more. No. That's still cockeyed bollocks. why I keep doing this, but I'm just I'm just not happy with it. It needs to be better. Ah, oh, screw it. That's basically perfect. If it accepts it, it's perfect. Our last delivery in a staff. It is for a good amount of money too. Didn't get us level 20, unfortunately, but got us to 72 grand. So let's have a look at the uh, bank right now. So if I was to borrow this, and then I would say I'd have to borrow enough of that, and then I could repay you. But I couldn't get that loan back, and we can't pay this off. Hmm. I need that to afford DAF. But we can only borrow 200 grand. Okay. Right. Paying that off is not as useful as I thought it would be. Okay, let's just go to the truck dealer. Let's... We'll go, uh... We'll go to the... We'll go, um... I don't know if I actually did... I don't know why... If I... I don't know if I did, what I did was worthwhile then. Because it looks like I'm just going to be borrowing more money anyway. Let's do a quick rest and we'll have a look. So the rest point is down the road. So we'll go, uh, we find ourselves to the rest point. Looking like this will not be our last trip in the daft, which is, uh, well, that's not what I had intended. Apparently I cannot do simple maths, which let's be honest, that checks out. I can't do simple maths. I can do complex maths, I just can't do simple maths, you know. Such is the way of the world. As soon as you know how to do complex maths, simple maths just becomes too too complicated for you. But uh, this beautiful truck will be going. I will... Uh, it, uh, I will find a way. I don't think we're going to be getting two dafts like I... Uh, two, um, we're not going to be getting a, like a daff and that, and like a second truck and that like I wanted to, unfortunately. You know, we'll actually park properly. Oh, wait, it doesn't even want me to park properly. Okay. It apparently it'd prefer me to park weirdly. So Ryan made us two grand. Katrina made us two grand. Well, 1.3. Nathan made us a, a 1.2 as well. Nathan leveled up. Okay, let's double check which one's Nathan. Is Nathan one of our newer ones? No, he's not. Oh, Nathan, you. You're making me nowhere near as much money as you should. You have it. He has a 3.3 as well. Like, he's actually got a good rating. But anyway, work on long distance again. You going back and forth to Leon is uh, no longer the day where you could do that. Go see how much Escania is going to be. And then we'll, uh... I don't mind having to throw the bugger back together again. Worst case scenario, I will sell this daff. No, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I sell this daff just to buy another daff? That's a pretty dumb... Yeah, that's dumb. Worst case scenario, I just won't buy my Scania and I'll cry myself. I'll cry into my cereal. I have a feeling there's a very high chance that I will be crying into my cereal, and I'm not very happy with that. 
can't even eat cereal. Well, I can, but I can't, I can't eat um, drink milk. But, you know. It's not the point. Oh, so many miles. So, so many. Hello, you beautiful Scania dealership. Okay, so I would like... So we have a trading value of 66 grand. So these are these Scania Streamline, the Scania old Scania. We want the Scania S normal. Yeah, this is what we want. This is going to be the one we get. Let's customize config. So not wasting my time with a higher roof. We are going for the 6x4 long because there is no, uh, there's no other 6x4. And if we go for the 6x4 long, we get the extra uh, petrol. We want obviously the 580 horsepower and we want the good transmission. Builds up, keeps up our uh, heavy cargo, universal train, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sorry, uneven terrain and hill traversal. Now, we could go for the exclusive light or the exclusive, nah, exclusive V8. The exclusive V8 just looks way better. So that's 174 grand already. And we don't even have the Raven yet. So that's 193. And that's if I don't touch anything else. Obviously, I want my uh, Scania wheel. That's if I don't do like a trucker pillow, put like a little blanket, get like, you know, this mighty Griffin symbol. I'd actually probably just get that 